we go. Cars coming out of the final turn in preparation for the third and final Lamborghini Blancpain Super Trofeo race from Paul Ricard. They're all trying to, oh, I'm not sure they're going to call this one off, are they? Uh, I think they are. Safety cars stayed out there, and it looks like there's a start delay board up or something because they are still all holding formation at the moment. Yeah, now, that's interesting. One, I see one went into the pits as well. Yeah, and interesting, we've got a green flag and the clock has started ticking away, but it's as if they're starting under under safety car. Look, in the top of the screen, the clock has started, so uh, effectively it's like a safety car situation. Ooh, that was a corner. Pit. Yep, here we go. Hopefully this time. I think the uh, safety car, pace car, is heading in this time. Uh, the lights are on red, so it's going to be a full start when they go to green. There we go. It's quite a late change. And the black car at the back, it must be Stephanie Hansen because he's already on it and trying to charge down. And again, that 46 car has got the lead. It is so fast at the start. The yellow car of uh, Albert von Turner Tax is losing out to second position. Where's Stefan going? He's, is he around the outside? He's I think he is. That's him. Oh, no, he's there. Yeah, There's the number one car. Him. So he went, he went outside on the first bit and sort of cut back again. So he's made... I think he's made three or four places already, probably. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, five or six. Yeah. So the Mocha Venturi Black Tommy on the, on the inside of the uh, white and red, and I think he's ahead once again. Is that him? Yeah, that's, that's him. him. That's him. Yeah, number one. Good. The uh, Blancpain uh, colouring on that car. It's the sponsor of this uh, trophy. Look at the battle for the lead as well, because Albert von Turner Taxis has managed to get alongside the number 46 car. Oh, has he? I think. Oh, he's done it. Yeah. My goodness, that was early to uh, get alongside and then finish the move off into senior. Oh, we've got a great battle. That's Eugenio Amos in third place. And he's going to try and get down the inside as well. Hops in over the curb. Oh, he's done it. Great job. That's a difficult place to do it at. It's especially this early first lap. Also got the, the green the green Lamborghini there going through uh, as well. Yeah, and he's dropping back a lot on this lap, isn't he, old son of... Uh, Tony Sharuz, who runs this race team, that particular team that he's driving for there. Czech co-driver, another Czech racing in the other car for that team, the number 88 car of Jan Stovicek. There we are. And remember, these are four-wheel drive cars, so when they get on that power, the tendency is for a little bit of understeer rather than for the back end to kick out. And I think he's got a chance to... Yeah, no, whoa, 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 he's done it, I think, but there was a little bit of a weave across. Oh, my goodness, it's all looking a bit hairy, isn't it? It's great little racing because there's you know there's such a difference and variation in the driver skills and we're seeing we're seeing that exactly now because obviously the grid is is uh, quite a mixed. Now I reckon that's Anthony Beltoise in the number two car going okay, around the outside. Can he hold that one? Lima has to dab the brake. Tell oh. you what, I've never seen that before. <laughs> never seen anybody go around the outside. <laughs> Fascinating move. Huh? I'm really? I'm going to note that down. Write that one down. Make a note. That, that, was, that was impressive. That was quite brave because if the guy on the inside hadn't have any control, he would have just taken him straight off. Wouldn't yeah, he? he would have done that. Yeah. Well, that was impressive. Uh, oh, there's a little move down the inside there. Yep, that was uh, well judged by Bel uh, Bellini. Fer Ferruccio Bellini, that is, who's just taken that spot. Meanwhile, this is about a battle of second going. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought. These two, remember, there. they had contact earlier, if you remember. Well, you don't know that for sure, really. They probably, they're probably good mates, really. Oh, it's pass. a bit cleaner if he makes the corner. Um, yeah, well, nearly. It's okay. Yeah, well, he made it. Let it stick now. It all depends if he can come out and get it back. The ABS was doing its bit there, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely so. Yeah, yeah. Funny, a good few cars come and do their... Including uh, the leader. Stops. Yeah. Yeah, the number 22 car is in. So... Uh, Will and second and third. Yeah, we are. Stephanie Hansen's keeping the youngster behind him. He's using all the track. Mm. He's very aggressive, he is. He's uh, oh, full of the joys of, you know, getting behind the wheel of one of these cars and giving it a bit of stick. Uh, he's going to have a little look up into the last oh. corner. Oh. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, my goodness. Stephen's in the pit. Stephen says, well, I was coming in anyway. What are you bothering about? <laughs> <laughs> so we're into the last two and a half minutes of this uh, third and final. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Whoa, whoa. Number 23, right round. Andrea Invenizzi, he was catching the guys ahead of him a minute ago. And he's thrown all that hard work away, and I think he stalled it as well. I see with that. Ah, 99's got a problem. Now, they were running in seventh yeah. place. Yeah. That's a funny place to come to a stop. Yeah, I think that's the exit, the last corner. Yeah, I looks think. like it. Yeah. Eric Yanis yeah, it is. in the car. 
And he's tried to get back to the pits, but the car's just ground to a halt on the exit of the last corner. Control, and it looks as though it is definitely going to be a hat-trick of race wins for Fabio Babini and Albert Monton and Taxis. Here we go. It's Fabio Babini bringing his number 22 car home for the third time this weekend. They have scored the hat-trick. <laughs> three wins out of three races, and they made this one look incredibly straightforward. Second place goes to Eugenio Amos, and third place goes to Mirko Venturi and Tommy Mino after a very, very solid race from them but they just lost a bit too much in the early stages and so finishing in third place the uh, number 46 car venturi for, uh, going pretty quickly towards the end there uh, but not quite managing to repeat the sort of form that they had in the second race where they did finish in second place so another podium finish though and they'll be well pleased with that i would think in second place uh, a solo uh that was from eugenio Amos. question about the race winners in this race, it was the car number 22 of Fabio Babini and Albert Monturna Taxis who took three out of three wins here at Paul Ricard this weekend.